Hi, I'm Autumn and I blog at itsalwaysautumn.com and today I am going to show you how to add a shape overlay to one of your photos using Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018. This video is sponsored by Adobe. Adding a shape overlay is one of the new guided edits in Photoshop Elements 2018. If you click on the guided button up at the top, you can see all of the different guided edits that are available. Guided edits make it really easy to add some fun effects to your photos because they walk you step by step through the process. We're going to use one of the fun edits and if you scroll down, you'll find it near the bottom. It's called Shape Overlay Effect. As soon as we click on that, we'll see all of the steps over here listed out on the right hand side, making it really easy to follow along. Step one, we just click to select the shape we'd like our overlay to be in. We have quite a few options here, so you can scroll through them and take a look and decide what you want to use. I'm going to stick with a heart. As soon as I click on that shape, you'll see that the heart overlay shows up on my photo. I can click and drag on one of the little corner boxes to enlarge the shape. I can also click and drag anywhere on the shape to move it around and change its position on my photo. Next we scroll down to step three, which is to choose an effect for the area outside of the shape. We can choose black or white or one of these other photo effects. And we can also change the intensity of the effect using this slider right here. I'm actually going to choose black, but take the intensity down quite a bit. I like how that looks. Step four is to choose an effect for the inside area of the shape. So again, we can click through and see how these different effects look and we can change the intensity and choose one that we really like. I really like how that looks. Step five is optional. We can crop our photo if we want to. I like how mine looks just as it is, so I'm gonna skip that step. So I'm done with the guided edit, so I click Next down at the bottom, and I can save this right now, or I can continue editing it in quicker expert mode, or I can share to social media. Really easy way to give a fun, artistic look to one of your favorite photos. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit me at itsalwaysautumn.com where I'm going to show you how to transfer this photo onto a glass block. See ya!